going to uh, move on to question two. Uh, Dr. Mukil, uh, can you have? Can we have you back? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A six-month-old child is brought in OPD, and mother complains of deformity of the knee of the child. On examination, there is hyperextension of the knee. The knees could not be taken into flexion. There is also an ipsilateral DDH. The previous periodic sheet describes the child has as a case of Larsen syndrome. Okay. What could be the diagnosis? Okay, so hyperextension of the knee, uh, Blount's disease. Congenital dislocation of the knee, the genu varum, osgood shatters disease, and congenital pseudo congenital pseudo orthosis, congenital pseudo orthosis. Six months old child, ipsilateral DDH. Previous pediatric should describe the child has a history of Larsen syndrome. Uh, sir, it is not a Blount's disease, sir, and. Uh, it's not genu varum. It's not osteoarthritis disease also, sir. Um, congenital pseudo. It is. It's, sir, it is congenital dislocation of the knee, sir. Okay. Fine. Can you tell me your positive findings from the question that you are that has led you to the answer? Yes, sir. The child presented with a hyperextension of the and we are not able to flex the knee, which indicates the knee is uh, dislocated, sir. And the child has a Larsen syndrome. Which is a syndrome with associated with the ligament laxity also, sir. And since the six months old child, it is gone to OPD, so it's a congenital condition. So I want to say it is congenital dislocation of the knees. Okay. Uh, Dr. Ravinder Dimpi? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, I, I, mean, I think we you covered uh, most of the things. And uh, you know from this that we're talking about different deformities around the lower limb. So you should know that deformities can be different plane. So they can be in the coronal plane as a varus valgus. They can be sagittal plane as flexion extension deformity, or they can be in rotational plane like in towing and out towing. So, and then you should know some causes of these. So uh, we have discussed in detail about genuverum, which can come in your exam and the physiological genuverum, Rickards and Blounts are the three you need to know uh, in detail. We will be discussing Osgood Schleter later on in this uh, presentation. And we will also be dis discussing uh, different uh, bowing of the long bone along with the joint deformity. So congenital pseudoorthosis will cover there. But yes, you're right. The only thing I would like to add to Mukil is what are the clinical condition uh, you would like to consider if a child is uh, come with hyperextension of the knee. Congenital dislocation is a bit misnomer here because they may not be completely dislocated. As the next slide show that it may be just hyperextension, subluxation or complete dislocation. So there can be a severity of it, but we can club them together as a congenital dislocation, although this is a uh, hyperextension deformity. So if you if you see a child what are the condition you will be looking for as an examination, Mukul? Sir, I should check for ligament laxity, sir, by doing the generalized ligament laxity. Is there or not? I should see. Sir. Yeah, quite quite and difficult. Then, in, a, in a newborn child, what are the clinical conditions? You, you suppose you've been called to your nursery to examine a child whose knee are looking uh, odd. So what, what will you, how will you proceed with your examination? Um, Other than the well, examination of knee, what are what I'm asking you is what are the norm few condition in which hyperextension is associated? Yeah, Down syndrome, sir. Down okay. syndrome, mm -hmm. Aguilar Danlos syndrome, mm -hmm. uh, the Larson syndrome, and yes. uh, uh, I know only these three. Yeah, so normally we would expect you. So you mentioned some which could be a rare variety, but we would like you to mention arthrogryposis. Okay, okay spina, yes, bif spina bifida and one syndrome which already mentioned here, Larsen syndrome, yeah, which is a multiple yes. dislocated joints. So uh, the common ones are these and you should able to uh, tell these that I will rule out these. Professor Gopa Kumar will tell you a bit more detail about these. This Larsen syndrome is a very rare uh, syndrome and uh, it is due to the mutation of filament B, that is FLNB gene. It presentations are dislocated joints, hyperlaxity of joints, the scoliosis, club foot, cardiac defects, cervical kyphosis, 
द टिपिकल फेस इज डेफनेस एंड लारिंग जोमेलेशिया सो बिफोर डू टेकिंग दिस चिल्ड्रन फॉर एनी एनेस्थीशिया वेट टू टेक एन एक्सरे ऑफ द सर्वाइकल स्पाइन सो दिस इज द चाइल्ड विद लार्सेंस ऑन फॉलो अप इन आवर क्लिनिक यू कैन सी द वाइड फॉर द हाइपरटिल्यूरिज्म दैट इज द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द आईज and uh, yeah, another thing you can see the dislocation of the radial head you can see the dislocation of the knee and another characteristic finding is two epiphyses for the calcaney usually the calcaney will have only one epiphysis and in this condition there are two epiphyses so uh, you know, one question that we ask when the hip knee and feet are involved uh, usually the knee should be treated first because you need to get the flexion of the knee before uh, managing the Uh, club foot deformity and for the last thing is the hip joint which is usually dealt around the age of 1 year okay and uh, i think uh, dr dimri has described the conditions uh, which produce hyper extension they can be divided into two one is hyper extension with laxity and the two is the hyper extension with stiff joint hyper extension with stiff joint is the process hyper extension with increased laxity are the uh, uh, options okay your 12 year child present with the complaints of knee pain on both the sides knee pain on both sides the mother says that he was not interested in sports activities till recently but now he now has started playing basketball there was tenderness around the patellar tendon insertion the pain radiograph show no evidence of fracture so blounds disease genu valgum congenital dislocation of knee genu varum ashgood shatters disease uh, uh, sir ashgood shatters disease option e sir okay uh, so positive points again uh, sir now sudden uh, suddenly he started uh, the sports activities sir and it is a 12 year old uh, children sir and uh, tenderness was around the patellar tendon insertion site where the tibial tuberosity where the ashgood shattered disease will will be the tenderness will be there sir so okay. i uh, chose this with similar findings if you get a child with the pain over the inferior pole of the patella what do you call very similar findings very similar finding Don't know, don't know, sir. Okay, uh, so osteochondrosis can happen on either end, right? So the tibial okay. tuberosity and his osteoid status, and uh, the inferior pole of patella would be uh, sending Larsen Johansen syndrome. So you, okay, sir. Since it's MCQs, they can ask you anything. So you need to know of all these named conditions all over the body. Yes, sir. For osteochondrosis, uh, Doctor Dimri. Yes, so uh, he, uh, hold the whole the he writes patellar tendonitis normally except in adults, as we mentioned in the basic signs that in children normally enthesopathy is common. So enthesopathy at the lower end is your um, Osgood Schlatter, and upper end, as we mentioned, we also sometime uh, in some books you may be calling that a jumper's knee. Okay, Re remember that also as a Uh, name can sometime come uh, mukil do you know the difference between if if i want you you to label epiphysis physis and apophysis on the proximal tibia how will you label it uh, so, so the, this... the epi epiphysis will uh, is the portion of the bone which is above the physial plate sir Good. that is epiphysis the mm -hmm. physial plate is the physis mm -hmm. and the apophysis is the physial plate of the tibial tuberosity yeah so it is also called a tractional apophysitis yeah another pathological name for it is it is and do you know uh, sometime you can confuse this if a sudden onset pain with the fracture of the uh, apophysis yeah? yes yes so, tibial tubercle fractures do you know any classification of tibial tubercle fracture tibial tubercle fractures uh, Uh, the tibial spine avulsion fracture sir yeah that is one but that is yes, uh, that professor basir will ask you next week sir i don't know the classification 
All right. So there's another one called Ogden classification. Sometimes you can be asked about that's that uh, your apophysis, either it is just apophysis fracture or the junction of apophysis and epiphysis, or it is apophysis, epiphysis, and bit of epiphysis also involved. So you need to know a little bit about that. So that sometime can be asked as a relevant question for it. Professor Gopa, you want to add anything to this? Yeah, the only thing is, uh, what's the deformity that is produced when the tibial apophysis prematurely closes? Okay. Uh, sir. What is the term that is used? What deformity does it produce? Suppose the, this uh, apophysis uh, fuses prematurely following some surgery done for those good stretches. Sir, Janu Rakarvatam, sir. You know, what, is there any term that is used for this condition? Sorry, sir, I don't know, sir. It is uh, 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 described as the frame knee, which was frame. classically described for uh, uh, children who were treated in Thomas Plint or in olden days for tuberculosis of the knee. So they were immobilized in the Thomas Plint and sometimes in plaster for a long period. This causes arrest of the tibial, uh, uh, this ap apophysis, and this leads to hyperextension. And this is what's called as frame. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, Fahim, can you just point them to about the uh, two ends where the anthesopathy can happen with your diagram and tell them about the uh, sending Larson and just to clear for, because that's very important thing you mentioned. Yes, so, sir. so uh, what you get is you're getting the patella tendon from the lower end to the uh, tibial tuberosity. Now you can have uh, tendonitis on either end. You can have it in the tibial, tuber, tuber, uh, tibial tubercle end, which is called the uh, osgood Slatter's disease, as well as you can have it in the lower inferior pole of the patella. So the inferior pole of the patella is known as sending glass and Johansson syndrome. Thank you. Mukil? Yes, Can sir. Can we have you back? Yes, 